Hey friends and family, welcome to the farm. Wanted to shoot a quick video, show off the tiny house flooring. Got that wrapped up today. Had to come down to meet the power company, so I took the day off work. So it's a gloomy day in southern Indiana, but I was able to wrap the flooring up and got good news from the power company that we can add a 400 amp service if I can find a 400 amp meter base, or we can add a 200 amp service off our current transformer. So as soon as I get the trees cleared out and the panel set, We'll be able to get service to the garage and possibly run service back here to the tiny house. We're still kind of deciding what we're going to do on that. So if you have any advice on the ceiling, let me know. I'm still trying to decide if I'm going to spray foam it. And next step, we're going to get started on the walls. And I definitely think it was a good thing to get this flooring done before it got cold. So um, unconventional steps in putting this tiny house together. But I uh, wanted to get the it's vinyl flooring and I was worried when it got cold it would be hard to work with. So. It definitely worked out well, and I'll sh give you a quick shot of a tool that I use. I um, had a buddy over here, Chase, helping me out, and it, it was something he hadn't used before. And uh, I had to do a house that was probably about a little over 3,000 square feet of laminate that I put down, and this tool was well worth it. It's not a cheap tool, but if you're going to do a lot, it's great. You don't have to go outside. You don't get sawdust everywhere. So I'll show you that tool and show you the tiny house. We should have more videos coming about the tiny house and we're gonna do another cabin build in the spring so if you uh, like what you see then subscribe and like and we will uh, keep the videos coming thanks everybody so this is how the flooring turned out i'm real happy with the way it looks um we like the color and uh it went down pretty good and Here's the tool we used to cut. It's just a laminate flooring cutter, but what I liked about it, when I was doing the two-story farmhouse, the thought of having to walk outside or fill the house with sawdust wasn't real appealing. So I purchased this. Like I said, it's not something if you're just gonna do it once, you'd probably buy. This is the bullet tools one, but uh, this has been a great tool. So just thought I'd give a little uh, info on that. If you have any flooring might be worth an investment and this is of course the ceiling i'm not sure i'm going to use bat insulation or spray foam and bat insulation and then we will be installing a wood stove in here one of these corners over here i have to have the wife come and kind of look around and we'll lay everything out and then i should pick up my truck hopefully today or tomorrow and then I'll be picking up this shiplap for all the walls. And that's something I can do regardless of the weather. So that's what we have going on today. Thanks, everybody.